Hi, and welcome to this episode of Strategic Solutions TV. My name is Carol Bell, and today we will be discussing the topic of how do you find a really good holistic and cosmetic dentist, especially when you're looking for one online. And today I have a special guest with me to help us with this information, Dr. William Virtue, who is a holistic cosmetic dentist located in North Carolina. He's in the Triad Piedmont area, which is um, the area that has Greenville and Winston-Salem and High Point. So, Dr. Um, Virtue, it's so good to have you here today. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you for having me. You're so welcome. Dr. Virtue, we know that many people, when they're looking for a dentist, they start their search online. And when they do, there are so many dentists to choose from whether they're looking for a good cosmetic dentist or a holistic dentist. So what advice can you give us today? You've been in this business for many years, so you are truly an expert. What advice would you give people today as to the things that are important, what you think someone should look for when they're looking for a good holistic or cosmetic dentist? Well, that's a good question, and it's a difficult one to answer completely because the cosmetic dentistry business is somewhat different than the holistic or the health conscious dental business. We happen to do both, um, but the criteria for the two or the qualifications are very different. Uh, as far as a holistic, biological, mercury safe type of dentist that we practice, um, I, would, I would look into that, that doctor's background and find out what organizations he belongs to. I happen to be the immediate past president of the International Academy of Oral Medicine and Toxicology. I'm also a member of the Holistic Dental Association, and I have been practicing holistic dentistry for going on 20 years now. And, it, and I'm also a naturopath, so these things kind of build on themselves. I have the opportunity to teach biological dentistry through the IOMT twice a year to our new members, and in fact, you cannot become accredited in the International Academy of Oral Medicine and Toxicology, commonly known the IAOMT, until you take my course. So it's important that the patient looks into the dentist's background and finds out what organizations he belongs to, how long he's been a member, and to what degree in that organization he has climbed. I happen to be a fellowed in the academy, so you know that would tell someone that I know what I'm doing. Um, I would also it, when I interview the dentist, I would find out what they're doing because a lot of times people talk about being mercury mercury free. Let's say that's not mercury safe. Just because you don't place mercury fillings doesn't mean you remove it properly, and that's the key. Now we haven't placed mercury fillings in 20 years, but the fact that we remove them every day in a particular manner is what's important to the patient, the staff, and myself. I would certainly want to make sure, ask the question, do you use rubber dam? Now that's kind of a, a misleading question because a rubber dam it needs to be used, but it needs to be vinyl because mercury will pass right through a rubber dam. What kind of suction equipment do you use? Do you have ionizers? Do you have a mercury separator in the building? Is the patient on an alternative air source? Um, there's, do you use suction underneath the dam? All these questions, when asked, you'll find out if they are all being used. The, the dentist probably knows what he's doing. He's probably good at it. But if some of these things are left out, they're not doing everything. So that's just some of the things I would look into. That is great information, and I'm so glad you brought up the difference between being mercury-free and mercury-safe, because mm -hmm. I think that's a real distinct th distinction that people should know about. Yeah, yeah. Mercury, mercury safe means you're removing mercury fillings, and you certainly don't place them. Now, if they're still using mercury fillings in their office, that's not where I would want to go. I would want to make sure the dentist uses no mercury fillings and follows the protocol that I just mentioned. Right. So it's good to know what questions to ask to know if they're following that protocol. So that's thank you for that information. And the IOMT is an excellent source of information for a patient to go to. IAOMT.org will bring it up, and there's, there's a, a patient section where you can go and find out more about what, but what a dentist should be doing to practice biological dentistry. Or you go to our website, we've got the same thing on there. Okay, good to know. Mm -hmm. So Dr. Virtue, what, um, what do you think makes your practice unique and different besides some of the holistic um, things that you just mentioned? But what makes your practice unique from the other dentists in your area? And 
what kind of experience can someone expect to have when they come to see you? Well, I think what comes to my mind first off is that my staff has been with me. I've been doing this almost 35 years, and some of my staff have been with me 30 years and down to 20. So we've yeah. been together a long time. It's kind of a family. Uh, there are some new people on board, but we had a hygienist that retired a couple years ago, so we had another hygienist come in. Uh, our people come and they stay. I mean, I think we just become a family, and I think that's one of the unique qualities. We also spend a lot of time interviewing new patients to find out what it is that they want. It's not uncommon for a new patient to be here for two hours while we figure out what, the, what it is they'd like to do, what their problems are, and then figure out how to solve them. So we spend a lot of time with people. Um, we, our hygienists see one patient each hour. Uh, we don't try to run people through. We have a very thorough periodontal uh, disease program that we run. You know, everybody gets the amount of time that's needed. So we're not in a big hurry. We're, we're doing things slowly and in the way they should be done. Excellent. That sounds like a really great practice to, to come to. So for those of you who are watching, if you're in High Point or Greenville, Winston-Salem, that Green, whole area. Greensboro. Of Greensboro? Yeah, Greensboro. Greenville, South Carolina. And it's also northern, east, eastern North Carolina. But we're in the High Point, Winston, and Greensboro. Greensboro. Yeah, I don't know where I got Greenville from. So thank you. A lot of greens, a lot of green towns. <laughs> that there are. So Greensboro, Greensboro, or High yeah. Point, or uh, Winston Salem. So, that whole area. And I imagine you have people come to see you from even further away than that. Well, we do. We have people that come from the Eastern Shore of Maryland. We have them from Charlotte, um, Le uh, Lexington, North Carolina. They come down from Martinsville, Virginia, Roanoke. I mean, when you do this kind of dentistry, people find us on the Internet, and it's such a kind of a niche that not everybody does this. So the people who are interested in, in proper and safe mercury removal will travel a great distance to come to see us. Many times they'll spend the night in a hotel here in town and, uh, you know, spend the night working on them in the morning or the afternoon, whatever. But it's not uncommon for several hours of travel to get here. Dr. Virtue, tell us what prompted you to make the transition from being a regular dentist, because I think that's how you started your practice. I did. Becoming a holistic or biological dentist. Well, that's a good question. Um, a lot of dentists to become biological dentists have been mercury poisoned, and they, they change course because of their own health problems or concerns. Mine was a little different, but similar. Uh, my Aunt Vi came down from New Jersey. We all came from New Jersey originally, my entire family. Um, and she had Lou Gehrig's disease. We knew this. And as my Aunt Vi worsened, my mother, her sister, said, you know, Aunt Vi acts just like my mother did, which was my grandmother, who we thought died of MS. I never met my grandmother. She died before I was born. So my mother surmised that my grandmother died of Lou Gehrig's, my aunt died, and since then I've had a couple cousins of my aunt Vi's children die of Lou Gehrig's. So I realized the connection between neuromuscular diseases and heavy metals, and I work in an environment that's very rich in mercury, mm -hmm. so it was imperative to me that I either change the way I practice dentistry or change careers. So I chose to change the way I practiced. And consequently, uh, it's been the best thing I've ever done in dentistry because not only am I protecting myself and still serving people, but I'm protecting my staff, I protect the patient, and I protect myself. So it kind of works for everybody. So it's a synergistic way of practicing dentistry that I wish more dentists would do. Absolutely, I agree. It would be great if more of them would. But it's too bad it kind of had to have that happen to prompt you to change, but I know your, your patients are sure glad it did. And the other thing, I, and when I, when I say that, I, I forgot to mention, my, as my Aunt Vi was with us, um, she'd come down and visit, and, but she had a mouthful of mercury fillings. I could see that because she was always laughing, the mm -hmm. happiest lady in the world. But she's always laughing and her mouth wide open. I'm looking in there noticing all these black fillings, which are mercury fillings. So yeah, that, I didn't mention that, but that was the connection I saw between, hey, look at these mercury fillings. Look what's going on with her. And uh, whether it was her, the reason for her demise or not, I didn't want to take the chance. Right. Absolutely. Well, thank you for that information. You're welcome. Dr. Virtue, what is the best way for people to get in touch with you and make an appointment? Well, you, well, you can call us. That's certainly one way, 336-679-2034, or you can find us on the web at www.dentalvirtue.com. 
Uh, and that's where most of the folks who are interested in mercury removal come through that, mes me that method because they can get a lot of research, they can see what we're doing before they get here. There's a, there's a pretty well organized website there. Great. So if you're not real, um, if you need, would like more information on what a holistic dentist does and what holistic dentistry is, like Dr. Virtue said, his website has a lot of information as well as the organization's website as well. Mm -hmm. uh, that's so much good information. We really appreciate your time and, and that you took the time to come and share this with us. Thank you. Thank I you. hope I can help. I, I think you did. Great. So thanks for watching, everyone. We appreciate you being here today, and we will see you next time. Thank you.